everybody. My name is Greg Fink, uh, also known as Adventure Dad Wagon. I'm here at the Blue Ridge Overland Gear uh, shop, and I wanted to show you the walk around of my 2019 Subaru Outback. This is the 3.6R Subaru Outback. Uh, it's the last year that they did the flat six cylinder. One of the first things you'll notice is our bumper guard that we have, um, which is from LP Aventure. They're based out of Canada, where we can put our, our KC highlights, uh, where I have some six inch slim LEDs. I have their C3 20 inch LED light bar. I have some dial dynamic LED fog lights. Um, I've converted this entire car to LEDs only. There are no more halogens on here from the factory. Underneath of the LP bumper guard, we have full armor all the way underneath of the car. So we have the plates that go on the bumper guard itself. And then we have full skid plates all the way underneath, all the way back to the rear differential cover. So it protects us um, from anything that we would hit on the trails. One of the nice things about Subaru is just anything clears the bumper, you'll clear the entire car because everything is flat underneath. You don't have to worry about anything necessarily low hanging underneath and, and clipping anything. One of the, the things that you guys know me for and see a lot of other people is the iconic dad wagon sticker. These are available on my website, which is just adventuredadwagon.com. Some Flexi RA3s, they are a relatively new design from KC Highlights. They have the three LED lights itself, and then they also have an amber light ring that will light up if you wanna to choose to have just that on instead of the full LEDs. On the actual car itself, I have the outfitted with 245, 65, 17 Pirelli Scorpion All-Terrain Plus tires. This is a very good tire for medium to soft off-roading, something that's gonna be a little bit lighter than the BF Goodrich KO2s. Um, within there, I also have some Black Rhino 17-inch Barstows. These are great solid tires, very well built. They have a nice little kind of Rhino lined, uh, Line X texture to them to kind of give it. They also have the faux beadlock styles on here. I also have some spacers that poke it out just a little bit to give it an added aggressive design. For our suspension and lift that we have, we have a two inch lift kit, which is also from LP Aventor. It is a spacer multi-link component lift kit. Um, also with some zero inch Rally Tech overload spring. So Subaru is notorious for some body sag when you load up the car itself. So these Rally Tech overload springs help eliminate that and they're a stiffer, stiffer spring that allows you to put some extra weight on the car. Continuing down the car, I have LP Aventures Rock Sliders, um, which this is the company right here. They are based out of Canada and they offer a lot of stuff exclusively for Subarus, but they have some other stuff for Toyota RAV4s and Honda CRVs and a couple other models. Moving to the basket before we go around back. So this has been a three or four year project in the making as far as what do we want on roof on the top of the car for the roof setup, that's actually gonna fit our needs. Um, there's obviously, you know, there's a lot of options with Prinsu racks, Spyderco racks, uh, Front Runners has a new a cargo basket up there. Um, but honestly, we love, and I love, the Yakima's product line. So keeping it simple, we have the Yakima Load Warrior with extension. Uh, this is a pretty common, classic, pick up anywhere basket, sitting on some Yakima HD 78 inch crossbars, which has a channel in there, a T-channel where you can add some, um, whether you want an awning or whatever accessories you want to have on the roof. These bars are beefier to support a lot more weight than other traditional bars, whether or not you have the aero style or the round bars. We have another light bar on the top. Um, this is from Black Oak LED. It's their single row 30 inch LED bar. On the back of the car, we have a Wilco off-road Hitchgate Solo high clearance tire mount for our spare tire that we have, um, along with obviously our Blue Ridge Overland Gear tire bag, which helps us out a lot. Um, it's a swing out tire carrier. This is a good spot to mount our, our Roto packs. We have the fuel one on there right now because we're getting ready to go hit a couple trails. So we want to make sure we have extra gas. Uh, we also have a water one for when we go camping to try and cut down on waste. Would not recommend using this as a primary source of recovery. If we do get stuck or whatever, there's an extra hitch on the Wilco tire itself that will put something on here. This is way much, way sturdier to use as your recovery point than the tow point here. Uh, but it does allow for another option for whatnot. Uh, we have a Guana equipment 
uh, 270 degree awning. So when this opens up, it'll wrap all the way around behind the car. Uh, this provides a lot of extra shade if we're camping at a park or whatever we might be. But this one, you unzip it, it folds all the way out, wraps around the car, and it's 270 degrees of, of shade. We have our black Max Tracks mounted on top um, with the Axia alloy brackets that we have on the rest of the car. We also have a Pelican 720, what is called a rifle box, but we don't have a rifle in there. We have all of our recovery gear in there. So we freed up the spare tire spot in the back of the trunk, which we'll use for extra storage or whatnot. But all my recovery gear is inside that box, which is water resistant, pressure sealed. You'll see the Mountain Roo windshield banner, which is the off-road Subaru group. I am one of the Virginia chapter leaders uh, for West Virginia and Virginia. Um, we're actually getting ready to go on a trail, so we do a lot of off-roading, a lot of trails, a lot of campings here. Mountain Roo is uh, all across the U.S. We got to rep our Mountain Roo side of the house. So we have our Midland MXT 275 mounted onto some ProClip USA uh, vent clips. So this option works great. It does not take away too much of your vent. So some people are concerned about that, but there's plenty of vent space left over. We have a, another little mount here from Skosh Mounts that we will mount either a Midland walkie talkie radio. Uh, moving down along the side, we have the actual box itself for the Midland radio, uh, which is wired underneath of here uh, into the armrest, into the cigarette light for power. And then we have the cord going all the way outside through the firewall to mount outside to that little bracket that I showed you guys earlier. Uh, we also have a RAM mount that I've attached here, which holds our Garmin inReach Mini. Um, so, so should we need uh, assistance and need to communicate to somebody where we don't have cell phone reception, I can at least send out a couple text messages. Subaru, the 2015 through 2019 models have this little storage compartment underneath of the center console. For some of the other options has Apple CarPlay and some USB connectors. But what we've done um, is we have mounted our S-Pod Bantam X system, which controls all of our lights. So it's an easy touchscreen system where you can just press a button, program it to however you want, and the lights come on automatically. This is also has an app that you can download and control all your lights from the app itself. But this is a nice little spot for us to keep the light system out of the way, nice and clean, tucked away, uh, but still have access, as you can tell by the cable, to all of our um, charging ports and whatnot that are underneath of there. Down here on the passenger side, we have a Desert, a Desert Does It Moly seat panel kit. So it attaches to the little bolts on the passenger seat, which you could put these both on both sides, and it's a little additional Moly, moly pack. Um, where we have a seat belt cutter. Um, the best fire extinguisher that you could have on a trail from Element Fire. Um, you just pop the cap, strike it, and it's an immediate uh, fire, similar to, kind of similar to like a flare, if you need to have a flare, but it's a one-time use fire extinguisher and it can put out pretty much most fires. Um, all right, moving into the back of the car, we obviously have all of our Brog rear seat panels for the Moly kits where we have some additional radios that I'll share with folks if we go travel on trails that who don't have them. We have some additional little storage pouches um, with all of our patches. Um, this works great for children. Right now it's empty, but except for some Legos because it does a great job of keeping the kids' toys off of the car seats and just being cluttered. So they store all their toys inside of there. Um, along with the headrests covers, sets. We have the ones with just the two storage pouches with a poncho inside and this one's empty. Uh, on the passenger side we have our first aid kit. Um, so if we have anything whether or not we're on trails or if we're with the kids and they hurt themselves um, we're perfectly covered. And then last but not least we have the limited edition snacktical pouch with obviously as you can tell some Oreos loaded for our trips fully prepared for snacks if we need to have anything. We have some custom made um, Anderson design and fabrication Moly panels. These are specific to the 2015, 2019 Subaru Outbacks. They have them for the Forester, they have them for other years of the Outbacks and various models, um, but they allow for some additional storage spaces for a flashlight, 
We have some additional gear in here, another pouch on this side. Um, they do only support 10 pounds worth of weight because they attach to the actual car itself, so they're not meant to soar heavy things like fire extinguishers or whatnot. We have another one on this side where we have some more storage. We have a hatchet for if we ever go camping. It's great to break up firewood. We have two more of our Brog headrests because you can never have too much storage. The whole premise and thought process behind Dad Wagon is to get out, take your kids on activities, do trails and do some stuff that you just normally would do. I found that about 2016, 2017, my son was spending a lot of time on electronic devices and tablets and TVs and just did not want to get out and do stuff. He would be very resistant and hesitant to get out of the house. So we used my Subaru Outback as a mechanism or a tool to go back to basics and take road trips, go camping, go bike riding and do stuff like that. So the thought process behind Dad Wagon is get out, explore, do some stuff with your family um, and, just, and just go out and make memories rather than just play around on a tablet and electronic devices because you'll learn a lot more camping and doing stuff than you will from a tablet. But yeah, so we do a lot of different activities and stuff with this, but we are a Subaru family. Um, I also am a Subaru ambassador. So if you have questions about Subarus or new models coming out, let me know. I'll be more than happy to help you out and answer any questions about them. All right, so that completes our walk around and a little um, deep dive into the 2019 Subaru Outback, also known as the Dad Wagon. If you guys have any questions, you want to check me out. I am available on Instagram at Adventure Dad Wagon. I also have a website, www.adventuredadwagon.com. We'll hope to see you around and on the trail soon.